going to be showing you how to connect your uh, inverter to the Wi-Fi. Um, you want to make sure that both the DC and AC isolators are switched on and you have a green light. First the red light uh, flashing shows that yeah, the dongle is ready to for connection. Um, you basically want to press this button at the bottom, just one short press. The light will then change to green and then constant blue on. This symbolizes that the dongle is ready for connection. And you want to go to your smartphone and go into your settings and into your Wi-Fi settings and you should see a, a Wi-Fi generation from the dongle with the serial number of the, of the Wi-Fi dongle. You want to connect to that and then go to your browser and in the URL code type 192.168.10.1 once you get to this site, uh, it will show a login page. The admin is the username and the password is 12345678. Once you type that information in, click wireless router setting and it will take you to this page. You want to select your home Wi-Fi network in this section. Then make sure you type your password in for your home Wi-Fi network then click apply and you should see this page come up next to say that it's set successfully and then click restart immediately this will lead you back to the login page now you'll see the light on your dongle go from a blue uh, constantly on to a flashing blue this will symbolize that the dongle is connected to your home wi-fi Now you want to go to your app store on your smartphone and you want to search for the app Shine Phone. Uh, it has a blue and white logo on it and from here you're going to register with the app. So you may choose a username and password and select your country. So you just want to go through this process. The installer code um, can leave blank. Here you're going to register your plant which is your home inverter. You can have a name for it and type in the installation date and uh, under the plant address you can select a map uh, which then you can select your residence address and uh, also your time zone. The PV capacity you'll type in is 6600. The next stage will be uh, adding the data logger. So uh, scan the serial number barcode which you can find on the dongle of the inverter on the front and this will link your data logger into your app. This will be the serial number of the dongle display here and then uh, once this comes up just click yes. You want to make sure you select the 2.4 gigahertz network here. Because we've already connected the dongle through to the Wi-Fi in the first stage um, and the blue light is flashing can basically type anything here just to go to the next page click yes and then don't have to wait for it to count down just click back and then you should see your figures displayed on your uh, dashboard here sometimes it will take uh, in between one and two hours for this uh, information to display um, but uh, if you followed all these steps there shouldn't be a problem so here you'll be able to see the uh, generation of your system. If you tap on the front display, it should um, rotate through a few different figures. Uh, you should see a figure that says power is uh, 2832 right now. So the system's just been connected. Um, the E today figure is uh, the total uh, kilowatts uh, generated from today. The next figure will be the E total, total figure of generation since your install date. 